Hi everyone, Brent Simon here. Let's talk about photos. Photos, uh, as you enter the DV lottery this year for DV 2026, vote your photo and the photo for your spouse and for your kids is extremely important. Uh, it is probably the biggest single reason why people get disqualified every year from the process. Uh, it's not that you get disqualified at the interview, it's that you get disqualified before you're even aware that you were um, uh, one of the selected winners. They kick the, the cases out before they announce the results. And in, um, I can tell you in DV 2024 in Africa region, uh, around about 70% of the entries were disqualified prior to the results, most of those because of the photo. So this is important. You need to get this right. Um, and let me just show you through the official guidance on, uh, on the photos, how they're supposed to work. So you can come to this website yourself and read um, for yourself, but I'm going to take you through some of these, uh, some of this content um, so that you can be sure to get this right, okay? So uh, firstly, um, eyeglasses. Eyeglasses should not be in the photos, okay? That's, that's a particular thing. So, you know, if you wear glasses, don't have them on during the photos. These are examples of acceptable photos, but down here, uh, below it has a category for each of the things that are a concern and shows you what's acceptable and what's not acceptable. So let's talk through those. Um, so firstly, that's an acceptable photo. Okay. Um, and this particular section is on digital changes. Um, they're worried about you making a digital change that will alter the look of, of yourself. So it'll change your, um, your image. Uh, to the point where a digital recognition system couldn't recognize you. <clears throat> and so they don't want a photo like this that has been compressed that way, okay? Uh, they don't want uh, photos with red eye where the flash um, that is used it sometimes in professional uh, photography is so bright that it creates red eye. They don't want that. Um, they don't want some sort of weird filter, okay? And um, here's an interesting one. This is a, a one for discussion. People often ask me if they can remove the background from uh, the photos. And you can to an extent, but you just have to be very, very careful how it's done. You may be able to see, if you come and have a look at this web page yourself, in this particular photo, the, um, the image of the person has been edited to remove the background in some sloppy way. Um, and so the editing has actually altered the outline of this person's uh, head. Okay, so that's why this particular photo is, uh, is not acceptable. It's been edited, but more importantly, it was edited in a way that changed the appearance of the person. Um, so, uh, you know, it's the, it's the changing of the appearance that's the problem. How should you pose? Well, you should be looking straight on at the camera. Um, you shouldn't be smiling. You shouldn't have your head down. Don't be looking down. Don't be looking to one side. Uh, don't be smiling, okay? Uh, don't have your eyes closed. Um, should be fairly, fairly obvious, right? And don't tilt your head too much one way or the other, okay? I'm famous for this. I tend to tilt my head for some reason. Um, and so um, try and have your head straight on, okay? Um, for attire, this could be important for a lot of people. They are okay with you wearing head coverings if it's for religious purposes. Um, but generally speaking, all others should remove whatever head covering. So don't wear a hat if the hat is not required as part of your religion. Take it off, right? Um, don't have any other attire that, uh, that is confusing, right? Um, don't have your glasses on top of your head or, or you know, don't have them hanging from your ear or anything stupid like that, right? Don't have big, uh, you know, big dangly earrings or anything like that either. Um, if you do wear, <clears throat> if you do wear a, a religious head covering for some reason, that head covering um, shouldn't be covering your face. That's why this particular photo is unacceptable. It's not the head covering itself. It's because much of the face is obscured here. And that, um, that same photo can be taken with a little bit of uh, pushing back of the head covering. Nobody's 
uh, you know, falling afoul of, of their religious beliefs, but you're just revealing more of the face to make sure that is an acceptable photo. Um, as we said, don't wear glasses, don't have scarves and things like that. Don't wear a silly hat uh, that clearly is not necessary. And don't have too much of your face obscured by your hair. I don't have that problem. You may have that problem. Maybe you've got enough hair, but don't have that, uh, that problem either, okay? For the background, you shouldn't have um, colored backgrounds. They shouldn't be like a blue, red, yellow, any of those sort of colors. Don't have uh, colored backgrounds. They should ideally be white backgrounds. If you can't stand in front of a white background, you can, I repeat, you can have the background digitally ordered, or altered using AI and similar tools if they're available to you. Um, you can do that and come up with an acceptable uh, image. But you must not change the outline of your face, your hair, or anything else. So it has to be very, very well done. Okay. Um, this image is someone has tried to stand in front of a white wall, but you can still see the texture of the wall and the lines, etc., on the wall. And that's the problem with that one. You don't want to stand in, in front of that. Um, and this person obviously is taking the photo in front of a, uh, you know, a window and hasn't taken the time to edit out the, uh, the, the background. <clears throat> and so that's an unacceptable photo. That, that would cause this person to be disqualified. The, uh, this image could be submitted via the photo tool or checked through the photo tool. And the photo tool would, would approve that image. But that will then get the, the entry thrown out um, during the entry process. Okay. Um, what else? Uh, resolution, um, it needs to be a 600 by 600 pixel uh, image. Um, uh, and there are some detailed requirements about that, but you can go and read them at this website. Um, so it needs to be an acceptable image from the point of view of resolution. Uh, size and position, again, same sort of thing. It's two inches by two inches um, is the, the size, but that comes down to uh, 600 by 600 for an online uploaded image, okay? Um, the shadows, um, people worry about shadows. I get a lot of um, questions every year about, uh, I've got a little bit of a shadow. If you've got a little bit of a shadow, a uh, tiny little bit of shadow that you can almost see, that's absolutely fine. What isn't fine is a very dark shadow on the wall behind you like that, or a shadow that goes over your face or anything of that nature. You don't want um, those sort of shadows, right? Um, the uh, the problem with this particular photo is that the color grading on, on this photo is wrong. It's blue, bluish. Um, and so that's completely wrong. And then this, this photo is underexposed. It needs to be exposed better. So what you're looking for is a photo that looks like, like that, quite bright, quite light, um, light against a white background with your face in the right position, your eyes in the right position, and so on. For children, there is a tip about this that is useful. Um, children are generally pretty easy to photograph. You just have to get them to look at the uh, look at the camera straight on. They shouldn't be looking any other way. They shouldn't be smiling or laughing too much. Um, let me find one. This is unacceptable because it's clearly a bad photo. But um, but you know the, this child is is laughing, smiling too much, right? Now here's an interesting one. This is a baby. People often ask me, well, how can I take a picture of my baby? Well, what you do for a baby is you put a white blanket or towel on the floor and you stand above them to take a photo, okay? Looking down at the baby. The baby, particularly very, very young babies of a few weeks old, three months old even, may be asleep and they have to open their eyes for the photo. So this sounds, <laughs> I say this every time and it, it sounds terrible, but the trick to get the baby to open their eyes is you make a big noise just before you take the photo. So you get them in position, they'll be there all calm and relaxed. And uh, and then you take the, the, you're about to take the photo and you go bang, <laughs> something like that, or make a big sound. The baby will open its eyes and just before the baby starts crying and your wife hits you because you've made the, the baby cry, there's a brief moment where you can take a photo, right? And the baby will have a relatively closed mouth open eyes and be looking pretty much straight up at you because you made this big noise uh, just above them.
Okay, that's how you take a photo of a baby. And I'm sorry uh, to all the babies that we're about to make cry. I didn't mean it. Um, okay, just make sure you know they're not looking off to one side. They're not covering their face with their hands or doing this or you know any sort of uh, things. No sticking out tongues, right? Um, you'll be able to figure these things out, I think. So what I suggest is you come and have a look at the um, this website. I will put the the link in the um, uh, in the description of the video below here, and you can have a look at the examples. And this is a very useful page uh, to figure out what the requirements will be. You can also see the um, photo the requirements here under the same web page, digital image requirements, and it and it explains the specific. Uh, size 600 by 600 pixels. Um, you can actually go up to 1200 by 1200. That is acceptable. Um, but there is a size of the photo in kilobytes that is important as well. You shouldn't be uh, exceeding the size. Of the It shouldn't be too large. It shouldn't be too small. The size of the file shouldn't be too small. It shouldn't be too large either. Um, you don't want it very compressed. Sometimes it'll be rejected because it's compressed. So you need to... Um, you know, uh, check that. And what I would say is, with your photos, when you're in this web web page, come and check out the photo tool. It's quite a good way to get a, a a properly cropped 600 by 600 photo that will be acceptable technically. Um, and you've just got to main uh, you've just got to make the photo then with the white background and uh, with the right lighting conditions. It becomes a very simple job at that point. So for the majority of you, this web page is all you'll need. Um, so I'm going to leave uh, this video there uh, with the photo lottery, the photo examples from this web page. And then in another video, I'll explain a little bit more about how to take the photos. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye now.